I saw some Yvette Nicole Brown tweets and it keeps getting worse. Thank you to Mark with a C. You can't trust those marks with a K. But after watching him, I said, let me go check this out for myself and view some of her tweets. So in response to my, not my dad, the bounty hunter, stop, pause. My dad, the bounty hunter is exactly the representation we are complaining that we don't get enough of. It's escapism. It so happens that their skin has melanin in it, in it but it's not negative. The themes there are, yeah, they have challenges, but they do at the end of each episode show the good intent in the father, the, the kids. Everything is positive and so happy and aspirational and it's just terrificness and it's on Netflix. My dad, the bounty hunter. I'm so glad that I began this video where I'm complaining about good times to talk about my dad, the bounty hunter on Netflix. Uh, some guys are saying boycott Netflix. I don't think that's effective. I think because you're like a little pool. I mean, you're a little pond in the ocean. Redirect your watch time and, uh, uh, and ascribe viewership to ensure my dad, the bounty hunter, has a season three. Hashtag my dad, the bounty hunter. Here comes YNB, Vet Nicole Brown. In this tweet that I'm complaining to you about, it says, I literally just said you don't have to take on roles to get a check. Can't wait to watch. And then this one says, never have, never will. My integrity is not for sale. Vo a voice actress for Good Times Animation Netflix. I will, however, take a role, even an edgy, risky one, and get into some good trouble if the ultimate message is worth the risk. Oh, there's an ultimate message. By the end of the season, everybody, that baby's going to make it back into the home. The end of the season, that dumbass about the concentrate on the orange, he's going to graduate. It's, you just got to wait for episode 10, the end of the season, where they move out of the hood and they have these great positions, you know? That's coming. I didn't know Yvette Nicole Brown. I thought this was just Seth MacFarlane free balling. Hey, you know, I can do a family guy. Like, uh, Cleveland shows didn't work. What do I need to do? Okay, we'll make them in a worse neighborhood. I think, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Yvette. I'm sorry. I, I apologize for that. She says that life is short. The systems in place are killing us. I will fight the power in every way that I can. The systems in place, including entertainment. In our media, we see an overrepresentation of shit. I'm pointing at good times and that uh, it does two to two communities. If you're of that community, that signals to you or that uh, the, the image that it projects guides you into that. If you're not from the community, you will only because of the overrepresentation of that shit, you will only view melanin because it's always associated with that shit as shit. That's the negative thing that you're, you're talking about the systems in place. Go do a show where you're a mother with a father and the full home with a dog and everything. Go do that show, Yvette Nicole Brown, with the budget and, and, and make it comedic and, and put it on Netflix. Shout out to you. For, if, you can do, if you can do more of those than there are of these, and there are too many of these, that it over-represents. Some idiot is going to come on here. What? So black people can't? Over-representation. This tweet, nobody is forcing you to watch something you don't want to watch. You just don't watch Solved. I've spent my whole life sharing, shedding a light on the things that matter and calling out the systems that keep a boot in our necks. At times, I take parts in projects that do the same, even if they are inner irrelevant, in irreverent or risky. Coming for me as if that's wrong is a fool's errand. Yvette Nicole Brown, I, the YouTuber Chillmonger, first of his name, come for you for being a part of this, pro for us, for being an actress with a name recognition, who is not starving, who's not, you know, can decide what projects to uh, attach her name on, bring credibility towards with your comedic talents. I am coming for you. It is not a fool's errand. You don't have to like the projects I choose. I agree with my decisions to do. Yeah, no, I just not like I disagree with you. It's that I will look at you sideways forever. And if you are ever attached to a project, I'm going to view you like this because you took this job them or support me now or going but i will not be supporting you i will not hire you for when my comic book becomes a movie in there and we're looking for and that's gonna be a few years but when we're looking for somebody you're not getting the call now get out there and write your screeds about a show you've seen just a two-minute trailer for the point of a two-minute trailer is to advertise what we're gonna get and what they advertised us was not we're, we're not picking out a scene 
in the trailer. It's what the whole trailer represents. It's the neighborhood they live in. It's the family that they are. The theme of the whole entire thing. Baby shooting at shoot, uh, b- little baby, dub baby, and baby, which is funny, I think. To have them three and, and for him to go, that's funny. But to have them shooting at the drug dealing baby who's addicted to breast milk because that's over sexualizing a baby with, with like melanin needs to be seen in a better light than what you're uh, attaching your talents to, Yvette Nicole Brown. Go off as if you know the fullness of the journey or the message we're trying to share about the systemic barriers. Uh, is that what Seth MacFarlane was about? We still face, no matter our station in life, good times indeed. 660 likes. That's terrible. I wonder if there's anyone who agrees with me. Some people just need to complain. Chillmonger is one of those people complaining about shit, but also per directing you towards my dad, the bounty hunter. I thought you did a great job handling that troll. Brava. This is her. I'd cut somebody for my friends. It's about to be the next boondocks and I'm here for it. <laughs> It's the Coondocks, unfortunately. Forget those jive turkeys. I'll be watching. I don't know if this... I can't tell. (sighs) Thoroughly disappointed. Here below, someone says, Kim says, I'm surprised you attached yourself to this project. Looks nothing like the show we grew up on. 118 people like that. Make that 119. And this one says that this version of Good Times... Is ed- hashtag good times is edgier and more irreverent than the good times of our childhood. Not that it, like, you guys know this. I'm not complaining that this isn't the good times of our childhood. It wasn't my childhood. I didn't watch the show. I don't care. I'm not saying that this is uh, using the brand and diluting it or hurting it or damaging it. I'm not coming at it from expectations wise of what it should be because it's called good times. It could be called anything. This isn't needed. So that's not my complaint or issue. It's a, still a show about family fighting the system and working to make things better despite where you start out in the world. That 100% lines up with my values. Chillmonger does not value your values. Yvette Nicole Brown. And this goes to JB Smooth. This goes to everyone associated, even Stephen Curry. I will never wear a Stephen Curry Wardell, number 30, Golden State Warriors jersey in my life. It's hard to enjoy this guy making three-point shots because he attached himself to this. No, I don't have to wait for the show to find out. Oh, it's just like the Boondocks. It is not the Boondocks. Season one to three of the Boondocks because Aaron Magruder wasn't part of season four and I watched what two episodes of that and I was like, ah, it's not the same. My Dad the Bounty Hunter is right there. It's right on your screen. This is a show that promotes everything you don't like that, that, that happened with Good Times. This is it. Non-spoiler, me advertising it for you. It didn't get much viewership, but it will now, right? 